All right, it's time to catch up on some 2600 homebrew goodness. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here for Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Fletcher Rich and Fun for Five. That's right. It is time for the double take of Daredevil 2600 and Tire Tracks 2600, brought to you by Muddy Vision. Both, if I'm not mistaken, were $3.99 at launch, E-rated for everyone, compatible with the classic controller and the modern controller. Um, and we're going to jump into Daredevil first. So, in this double fun for five, Daredevil 2600 says, You are the Daredevil. Always looking for a new challenge. You do not know fear. You only... You know only the rush of the wind as your parachute carries you to the ground. Landing in a forest? No problem. A desert island? Anytime. A moving boat? Bring it on. All right. So like I said, ready to for everyone. Compatible with the classic and modern controller. We're going to play with the classic controller again. Um, thanks to uh, Mr. Shua and his challenge is going to continue as we, we play, especially 2600 games. I think... I think uh, Mr. Shua and the rest of the the, uh, the GTC and some of the other people that come and watch these videos have commented in the past, but like, hey, you know, you're, you're playing a 2600 game. You probably should play it on the classic controller. And then I'm like, I refuse. I'm going to play on the modern controller. There's nothing going to do about it. And they're like, dude, you should really do it. And I'm like, okay, it's fine. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Um, you know, the, the looseness of the stick thing, it's still there. Um, I have yet to... to uh, to brave taking one of these apart because apparently you can take one of these apart and then like right here in the um in the which McCollant thing there's like a piece of plastic in there apparently there's a ring you can remove it and once you do it like feels amazing and i'm just i'm scared guys i'm not i mean i'm, I'm just gonna admit it i'm, I'm like i'm just de deathly afraid i'm gonna take a thing, this thing apart it's not gonna work i mean i do have another one that's down here somewhere um i do have another one but it's a, like well then i gotta go to the spare and then like whatever, uh, you know, they're hard to get. You know, it's one of those things. Uh, also, by the way, you know, Atari. Do you get anyone in Atari watching these things? Like, you know, these things. I mean, they're they're pretty cool. Um, and um, I don't. Maybe you can still get them on Atari for for full price, I guess. But um, yeah. I mean, these. You know, like I should be able to buy some more. I I mean, it, I might be speaking at a turn, so maybe I can. And again, you guys can yell at me in the comments. But anyway, that's it. Muddy Vision. Daredevil 2600. I'm hitting the launch button. So let's go. Right now. That's rad. That is gotta be the coolest 2600 like intro music I think I've ever heard. <laughs> that is awesome. It's 2600. And it sounds like some like cool 8-bit track. Wow. I don't even care if the game's good. I just load up this ROM just so I can hear this. That is cool. Damn. That groove. Oh, man. All right, I'm hitting the button because I'm just going to sit here and play this all day if, you know, just listen to the music. Wow. All right. Level X. All right. Now what? Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, cool. So I guess I've got to avoid things. Right? I gotta avoid things. Alright. Cool. Ah! Yeah, that's the thing, right? You avoid things. And then, um, this is cool. I'm floating, I'm floating. Wee, Whee! I like the fact that, like, some of these things look like classic stuff that you've seen in other games. Like, you know, like in a different way, like, obviously, because... I guess you don't want to like infringe on one's copyright, but it's very cool. This very much feels 
like, at least it's like Muddy Vision, this feels and looks like possibly a, a Activision-ish game. Bloop. Oh, did I just put my, uh, did I die? I mean, it definitely looks like I died. Well, that's not fun. Do I have to hit a button to land? Did I like, oh, oh, it's going too fast. Maybe it says no, because it's like, no, you're going too fast. So we'll see when we get to the end, we'll like pull all the way up. So I'm pretty sure I can get to this and miss all of the stuff again. I was pretty good. It was pretty good to, to do this. Wow. Whoa. Very cool, though. But like I said, this was like totally feeling like in a like a classic Activision kind of game. All right, very, very cool. All right, cool. All right, here we go. Can we get, can we get there? Can we get there? Come on. I did it. I landed. He's happy. We got the happy, 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 happy landing. I don't know why it still said no, but he landed. And he's like, do, 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 do. All right, cool. Level X again. All right, let's bring on to the next. Whoa, what is this? Can I land on that? I don't know. It looks like you can land on it. Like that like little thingy, like UFO looking thingy. It looks like you can land on them, but I don't, I don't wanna try it. Cause then like, you know, what if you can't and then you die? That'd be no good. Oh, I get clipped. All right. Yeah, I think you start all the way over. Ah, get out of the way. Wee. Wee. Uh, classic controller working brilliantly, by the way for this um so no no uh no fear it does seem like there's a little bit of right stick float but, but that's because it could be my controller because you know that happened on my ah oh cool i didn't die <laughs> uh, ah, oh, oh. <laughs> i think that was it i think that's the one 3500 All right, cool. That's good times. That's good times. All right. So that's one. That's one down of a double, of a double take. So let's hit, let's hit the buttons and uh, go into the mini wrap-up. Let's go. All right. So that was Daredevil 2600. And in this mini wrap up, was the fun found in this game called Daredevil 2600? Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. Um, I was very surprised at how awesome it is. And I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to, I'm ready to rock the other one. I'm like now like super excited about this one because you know, like I just didn't know what to expect. You know, it, it was just like, okay, here's this game, and it's coming out of nowhere. And, you know, I've heard good things about these homebrew games, but, you know, like, actually playing, playing them, mm. very good times, very good times. So, all right, let's go into the next game, though. Is the fun going to continue to be found? Entire Tracks 2600 by Muddy Vision. Get set for the race of your life with Tire Tracks. You are about to embark on a daredevil race across challenging terrain, avoiding obstacles and traps. Oil your chain, test your brakes, and grab your helmet. Happy trails. Rated E for everyone compatible with the 2600 uh, Classic Controller and, of course, the Modern Controller. <coughs> Excuse me. $3.99 at launch, which is what I paid for it. And we're going to play with the Classic Controller again. 
We're going into tire tracks, 2600. I'm going to hit some buttons. Let's do this. Again, and there's a melody. Ah, oh. it's very cool. Oh man, again, twenty six hundred. This is on the twenty six hundred. There's a soundtrack, and it's pretty banging. I I, I don't know, guys. That's wild. Like I would, li I'd legit listen to this. That's cool. That is very cool. A little minor in there. A little like do 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 do. Ah, a little bend. Nice. Very cool. Anyway, fixed race. I don't know. I'm just gonna hit the button and play. So tire tracks, muddy vision. Let's go. All right. We got it. Hitting the button. Wow. But what the? <laughs> it just, I don't know what happened. He crashed on the road and then he just wound up in the, he wound up in the pond. All right, let's go. <coughs> so I, I, I guess it's like one of those. There we go. All right. All right, well, get get out. I'm trying to get out of the way. Ah. Is there a jump? Ah. All right. Can you jump in this game? I don't I don't know. I think you just hold the button. You go fast and then you just avoid things. I want to say didn't it say jump? third cool oh all right so that's it that's the that's the game is this supposed to be like uh was that dragster only you're on a bike so did someone like dragster and then bam one i mean it, i guess that's the i guess that's the game I mean, can I, let's, let's change it. Game, let's go to game two. Let's see what happens. What is that? Is that a volcano? Ow. Okay. You can definitely get in the zone in this one. Whoa. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh. Where? Three. All right, cool. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. All right. Ah, I thought I had it. Ah, get through, get through. Ah, <laughs> it's terrible. All right, cool. Yeah, what? All right, one more time. One more time. Ah, all right, all right. We're gonna hit the button just so it, so it does the thing. Ooh, ice, ice one. That's pretty cool. All right, all these different levels are pretty cool. So there are, there's more, there's cool variety. There's also all sorts of awesome stuff. Very cool. All right, let's go to the wrap up. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. All right, tire tracks, 2600, muddy vision. What do we got? What do we got? Is this fun was found? Is this yeah, but? Is this not great? Is this certified good times? 
Yes. Yes, the fun was found. I'm going to tell you. At the first point, this was teetering on yeah, but. But then I was like, oh, there's more tracks. And you go to different tracks. I'm sure there's more game modes. And there's like all the kind of stuff. Um, it doesn't say jump. It doesn't say jump. So let me just see. Let me see in the in the user manual if it, if it says anything about jumping. Because I want to say uh, 15 obstacles. Sunset is 20 obstacles, 25. Okay. So, oh, it gets difficult. It gets difficult. Okay. Uh, control. The objective is to race through by avoiding obstacles. Complete each course by doing in the shortest possible time. Your times, whatever. Okay. Your choice sticks. Use control the bike. Up will take it further up the path. Down will take it, you know, fire. Increases your speed. Left is the brakes to slow down. Release the fire down and gradually slow down. Okay, cool. So there's no jumps. It's just basically boom, 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 boom. So it's, I was playing it right. So that was good. Um, also, um, that's pretty cool that game one, there's four, it looks like there's four different games. So there's daytime ride, sunset, winter, uh, night. So it's like, so you can ramp up your difficulty 15, 20, 25, 30 obstacles. Um, games five through eight, same as game one before, but random obstacle generation. That's even cooler. Um, so you can really kind of like, you know, rack it up or whatever. But um, this is a, a like it's a, it's a score chase time game. So like, a, a, like Dragster, only uh, you're on a bike and it like it, it's got this wicked intro song, which is, I think it makes it even cooler. So therefore, the fun was definitely found. Um, I'm glad I went through. I'm glad I did another couple runs because it was teetering on the edge of like a yeah, but, and I would have been sad to give this one a yeah, but to be honest, because I didn't give it enough of a shot. And on 2600 games, sometimes it's that first impression thing. Um, it'll, it'll get you. It'll get you a little bit. Um, I'm going to go down to see if I was playing uh, Daredevil wrong. I don't think so. Um, game one, easy. Obstacles and speed are slower. Game two is hard. They're much faster. Um, glide down, avoid the ground, but uh, glide down to the ground, avoiding obstacles and landing safely. The joystick, joystick is used to do that. Up will up will slow your descent a little. Down will increase your de your descent speed. Useful for zooming in and out of tight spaces. Left and right will slide. Do that. Left and right. Okay, and then there are many different obstacles you will need to avoid. Uh, clouds are harmless. You can pass through them without worry. Geese will not hurt you, but they'll push you off course. Uh, balloons. Oh, you can pick up balloons. You can pick up balloons. Red balloons are worth 300 bonus points. Purple are worth 600. Green balloons are worth uh, 104 score multiplier for 18 seconds. Uh, the parachute flashes red when it's doing that. Gold balloons give you own invulnerability. So that's pretty cool. Parachute will flash white while that uh, happens. Starting level two, the wind will happen. Landing. It's important to ensure that you slow down by holding the joystick up in order to land safely. Failure to do this will result in the launch loss large crater and loss of life all right so we were landing correctly you gotta pull up and then do the thing um and then uh, you get your score uh score the further you go down the more points you collect landing you're close to the center or to award you bonus points so you gotta hit the try to hit the target land safely um pick up balloons for bonus points and make sure you didn't get hit by like things that have rotors because you know obviously you know what happened there so, um, so that was cool too. Just you know, making sure that you're playing Daredevil correctly as well. Uh, at the end here, pretty good stuff. I mean, more please. Yes, yes, more of this Muddy Vision stuff. More um, Atari Age homebrews. Let's get some ROMs up in here and at three ninety nine a uh, price point for this kind of stuff. Um, not only will I be here, you know, I'm going to give it no matter what. But not only will I be here, but I guarantee you that there'll be more people here looking for some excellent homebrew action right here on bcs so please 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 if all the ataris and all the people making these games and whoever's dropping hot beats on both tire tracks and daredevils like the kudos man i don't know how you made the Dare 2600 do that but man awesome that's all i, I mean I, I give you kudos just for that you know but there's also two fun games to be played for 3.99 a piece I mean, what are you doing staring at this face plane? Go, go. Go grab them. If you guys aren't already in the homebrew scene on Atari 2600, there is a home, at least for some of these games, right here on the Atari VCS. It doesn't look like it's slowing down anytime soon. So get out there and get these games on here and show Atari that you want them. Because if you're, you know, 
if you're not doing it, then they're going to be like, oh, well, yeah, we tried, guys. And, the you know, the homebrew stuff just not not really hidden. So maybe we're just going to not release them on there. And then I'll cry because we want more games. We're at over – well, the thing says 111 or 112 or something crazy like that. You know, like, I, you know how I feel. We're definitely over 100, though, for sure. You know, if, if I pull out all of the uh, the 2,600 uh, redos – that were on the on the store and the 7800 games that are, you can get or whatever and the DOS box games I don't know I kind of consider them and whatever but um so far every major release I've bought every single game that has been on this Atari VCS store we've played them all and they are awesome you know, most of them are all amazing um you know like fun found, you know the the fun has been found on on almost literally every single one of them I mean I, yeah but here and there I think there was maybe one maybe one got that not great but I mean, come on, it's not. You're talking one out of a hundred. Come on, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. So anyway, be sure to be checking us out. I don't know when this is coming. I think it's Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. Um, be sure to check us out at the end of this week. It's what is it? The twenty twenty second of September. I want to say big games dropping on the Atari VCS. If I'm not mistaken, if not, it's the next week, but still this week or next week, some huge stuff's going to hit. There's that um, Days of Doom game it's from Atari coming out uh, one of those two weekends. And <clears throat> then there's some other stuff that I know that they've been, they've been teasing for the end of September. So, again, games keep hitting this console. And yes, please, because I will keep playing them. Um you know, we just played some Dino Blaster. You know, you guys can watch that, see if what I see what I felt about that one. Um, I'm hoping for some more from the uh, from the BBGs over here on the Atari VCS. We'll play some more stuff, and um, and I owe uh, the the GTC. I owe the GTC a follow up video. Speaking of Dino Blaster, playing that game with the modern controller. See if I like it a little bit better than when I played with the classic. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, that'll definitely happen. The video that's video is not a let's see. Um, but uh, let's see how I feel about it on a revisit with the modern controller, shall we? All right, cool. So thank you guys all so much for watching. We have reached the end of a video here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions. You know what? You know what happens next. We have to say thank you to every single member of the Good Times Club because without them and their support, you wouldn't be getting awesome 1080p crazy videos like this. You wouldn't be getting the awesome retro riches restoration show because of, you know with of their support and their push we're able to make that happen plus some other stuff that we've been working on and um you know for for nearly half a year we've been working on something i've been trying to launch and you know i just can't get over the hump on it but i know that these these guys keep pushing and we'll make it happen and then of course because of the upgrade here on on the uh, the stream yards more stuff will be happening in the live variety. That has been another thing that the GTC has been asking for, and I will deliver soon, very soon, very soon. So keep an eye on that. Uh, keep an eye on the live feeds. We'll be checking out that kind of stuff, hanging out with you guys with the chat, as I love actually doing that and just haven't really had the time. But, you know, summers, my job, things, crazy. Anyway, it's time to thank the members of the GTC. For all their efforts, thank you, the Ever Canadian, Crimson Cross, George Games, Chris Westerman, Phantom Fiction, Skeletrex, Lloyd Argen, Papa Pete, the Intellivision Gamer, actually, a video, thanking the Intellivision Gamer coming up soon, Ken LeCure, and Mr. Shua, and Legacy Member Karsten, thanks all for being members of the Good Times Club. Again, your support is most thanked, most thanked, and most appreciated here. Uh, from the fine folks over at Bacon Ice Cream Production. And I say fine folks a lot. I say we a lot. And, you know, like, you just see this face and you're like, what are you talking about? How are you talking about yourself and like the third person, like splitting yourself in half? What, do you, what is it? There are more people here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions than just me. And please, hopefully, we'll finally see something from them soon. Just some, some like other videos talking about maybe some Lorcana. Lorcana. Yep. Uh, and then actually maybe like seeing them literally, maybe their hands, maybe their faces and hands. I don't know. But we're seeing like we're just gonna play some games because that's what we want to do here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions and introduce some more people to you. Maybe even some brand new faces. Pretty cool. 
growing and having some good times here on the channel. And we hope you enjoy every single moment of it and hit that like, hit that sub, hit that awesomeness to catch every single moment of it. We thank you once again for watching. And until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we'll see you later. Take it easy, guys. Get ice cream dot com.